Space missions and related areas have been a fruitful source of applications for AI planning over a long period of time. One of the earliest AI planners applied to spacecraft missions was Steve Veer's Divisor Planner, created at NASA's Jet Propulsion Lab in the early 1980s. Optimum AIV is a deployed planner used for Ariane rocket assembly, integration and test and based on the old plan design. Applications have also included ground segment planning and control, telecommand of meteorological satellites, experiments in technology proving and in the control of autonomous spacecraft. There are a wide range of planners built at the European Space Agency and in NASA and we'll cover some of those in this feature and the remote agent experiment within Deep Space One. Divisor, created at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory by Steve Veer, was the first NASA AI planner. It was based on the nonlinear design but added time window handling. It could produce Voyager mission plans. As part of our own work with the British National Space Centre on the TSAT technology proving satellite design, the T-Shed scheduler was able to generate plans on the ground that were suitable for controlling the spacecraft. A 24-hour plan was created, uploaded and executed live on board the UOSAT-2 spacecraft. In early work at the European Space Agency, an AI planner for ERS-1 operation planning was created and later modified to become the optimum AIV planner for assembly, integration and test of the payload bay of Ariane rockets. There are quite a range of projects at the European Space Agency that use AI planning methods and a few of them are listed here. You can find more details on the European Space Agency spacecraft operation websites. ESA's project for onboard autonomy, PROBA, has had a series of spacecraft which have demonstrated the potential and feasibility of small satellites for advanced scientific and Earth observation missions and some have been controlled by automated ground systems. NASA have also had a wide range of spacecraft with AI planning embedded in them over the years and some examples are listed here such as Aspen and Casper. More details of these projects are available at the NASA JPL and NASA Ames websites. The NASA Mars Exploration Laboratory, Curiosity, has been a target for a range of AI methods during its development stages and now in its operation. This has not only included the rover itself, but also the communications with it, spacecraft to support it, the operation centers which are used to control and communicate with the robot, and even some of the preparatory work which has gone into the design simulation of the rovers and other equipment that's relevant to these missions. Take a moment to think about the Curiosity mission. Imagine the opportunities for AI methods from its design and inception as a mission right through to the launching of the spacecraft, the landing of the spacecraft on Mars and then its operations.